Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and you're watching The Developer Show here on site at Google I.O. 2016. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the search APIs. So Miha, I'd like to talk to you about two things. The first of which is rich cards, and the second is app indexing. Now, first, I want to take a look at the documentation for rich cards. Can you uh, get us started by telling me, well, what is a rich card? Sure. So a rich card is a new uh, visual format to present search results in an interactive and engaging way. That's really awesome. I mean, pretty much what it means is that like, I search for something, and instead of just getting a blue link, I see information there in a rich way. Yes. Yes. And and you can do this with markup in your web page. So when you're building your template, you also just build the template for markup as well. So Google knows what it is. Yes. Okay, so let's actually take a look at the documentation, which we recently um, updated. Uh, and it's really cool. You can see the example in a gallery, take a look at the code, validate it, and see an example of what it would look like. Yes. Can you show us that? Yeah. So in uh, this case we have a recipe example. It, on the right side, it shows how the recipes will appear in a carousel. We can have a quick look at the markup. And the markup in this case is JSONLD. Schema.org offers different ways to show metadata. Mm -hmm. JSONLD is uh, something we usually recommend. Uh, you can put your information in the schema.org fields in this format, and you want to test it. You can click on the validate button. It will show you in this case, hey, we have no errors, no warnings. <laughs> that's convenient. Uh, that's very convenient. Uh, we have a lot of information covered here. Usually just a few fields are required, but the more you add, the richer the card will look like, and the uh, higher the chances the user will interact with the card and will go on to visit your website. So all conversions for you. So once we have this, we can go ahead and preview the card. And this is how your card will look on the search so results. Easy. Yes, and you can see uh, it has more than just a small snippet and the link. You have a picture, you have a rating, uh, you have stuff that's very specific to the uh, schema.org type you're using here, in this case the recipe. It shows you it's only 230 calories, so that's a pretty good piece of pie. It only takes uh, three hours to make. Uh, and it has very good reviews. So, as a website owner, I'm really happy that this shows prominent in the search results. And I'm sure people will click on this. I'm getting hungry just looking yeah. at it. So I have a search here for a fried chicken recipe. At the top of the search results, we have what we call a summary carousel that shows fried chicken recipes from all around the web. And as we talked before, each card gives you some interesting information, like how long it takes to uh, cook the recipe, uh, some uh, ratings and reviews. Another way to show search results is through what we call a host council. If your site, if your cooking site or your recipe site has a lot of related recipes, in this case fried chicken, then we group all of them together and we show them for your site in particular. In this case, the Food Network, of course, they have a lot of fried chicken recipes. We show them in the host carousel. So there's a lot of information that users can browse and then decide to go and read more, visit your website. So app indexing is a way to add your app in the search results, same way you have your website in the search results. So we offer an API that you can use and have your app indexed by you. Okay, let's see so a demo. Let's, yeah, let's have some like. demos. So let's see you're traveling and uh, you're in Japan, you want to find the hotel in Tokyo. You find the familiar search results. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll actually see that you have the booking.com app installed and it provides a link to the 30 best hotels in Tokyo. If you click on it, this link will It goes right into the app. So we are now inside the booking.com app. There is a nice listing of hotels with a lot of information. You browse through it. After a while, you come back and you, of course, don't remember the link, but you can just type Tokyo or start typing Tokyo and you see because you already visited the app, another right nice there. feature of app indexing 
is auto completion. We have a link to properties in Tokyo. You click on it, you go back exactly where you were. So that's very cool. That's yeah, well, another great benefit of app indexing. And I want to show you one more thing. Uh, let's say, oh, there's so much stuff out there. I want to see another booking app. What other booking apps are out there? So you just type here hotel booking apps. And let's see how many apps are app indexed. Well, quite a lot of them. We provide a nice matrix of uh, a hotel a booking apps. Booking.com is one of them, but of course you can try another one. That's very cool, Mihai. Thank you so much for the demo of both Rich Cards and App Indexing. And for everybody there at home, please check the description below for the links to demos and documentation of everything we just talked about.